everybody, it's Crazy Crazy Bangle Shime here because we're having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the what episode is it for Outlander? It is the ninth episode of Outlander. I should know this because um kind of Star Wars and um Outlander came out at the same time, so it's the same episodes, not the same episodes, but the same number of episodes that are coming out at the same time. But anyway, um we are gonna be jumping right into this reaction. I'm very excited. Um I've heard rumors around that it's angsty? But I'm not sure. I'm gonna jump right into this reaction. I'm very excited and, you know, it's Outlander and I, the last few episodes have been absolutely amazing. So let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video. But to also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Whoa! Oh my god! As an Australian, we know that you have to be. Oh! You have to be careful of any snake bite. I had to be determined. No one was going to open the door for me. But you have to fight for it. You know what it is that you're meant to be. What if you don't know? If you do know, but you just you can't do it. If I were to lose you. Or Jamie, I would never be quite home. But I would always have Why? Left. Guys, please don't tell me this is a we serious moment agree. for Jamie. Because I'm going to. It's a dangerous path to go down. Vengeance. The Jagasta. The bequeathed river run to your son. The bonnet has waged the war on us. We're defending our family, our beliefs, those that come after us. We, Jamie, have reason to believe Monado tried to claim your son as his own. You'll have witnesses yeah. from the tavern. That's true. Is willing. There's a fine line between a monster and a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very true. Good line. Good writing. Glad you're here. Oh. Just pausing before anything. Um, Roger is totally right. Um, revenge, and I thought Jamie may have learned, well, not learned his lesson. Well, anything didn't, nothing happened after that, did it? No. Um, but, um, you know, revenge is such a nasty business. Um, especially in terms of time travel. Um, nothing happened though with Jack Randall. No, nothing happened. Um, but still, in just any sort of time era of fantasy story, whatever it is, um, the revenge is such a not. It's like such. It's so complicated, and it's so dangerous to go down that path. Um, because a lot of people, you know, we've seen it in so many stories with revenge. People do it, and then they're just left with a lot of emptiness, and they say like that. That didn't like help in any way. It didn't fill that hole, and mostly it's because they're still either grieving or they're still, you know, m like. Um, just like um, stuck on the topic of what's going on. So, you know, it's such a like, like, uh, yeah, again, complicated like subject to talk about or even just bring up in terms of storytelling. And, you know, you have to do it right if you're doing revenge. And I like the fact that Jamie's brought it up because, you know, um, a few episodes ago, you know, he, he was saying, you know, like he wanted to do it for Brianna, but then Claire was like, are you sure you're doing it for Brianna or are you doing it for yourself? So um, not in terms of revenge, but, you know, kind of getting that kind of like dignity back I guess because I feel like Jamie feels like he let um Claire down the first time it happened in season four so now that you know he knows that Steve Bonnet is alive he wants to also get revenge on him but also he he's kind of pushing it onto Roger to kind of carry that as well because you know obviously Brianna was raped by S Stephen Bonnet so you know he wants Roger to kind of feel that fire as well that he's feeling um and it's yeah again it's quite a dainty subject but <sighs> it's gonna be interesting what happens but first I hope Jamie lives because otherwise I'm gonna cry and I'm not gonna be happy when you scold me like a magpie I can, I'm gonna be all right mm -hmm. when you're tender as milk <sighs> you haven't called me any wicked names or uttered any words of reproach since I came home hasn't it does this mean you think I'm dying? Fine. That's true. Fool. Stepping on a snake. Why didn't you look where you were going? 
we are not allowed. Only one of us gets to be frightened at any time. <laughs> right now it's my turn. Oh, wait, I need to pause. Oh, oh, you guys know I love romance, so you know. Oh, these dynamics kill me because, yeah, again, uh, I love writing as well, this sort of dynamic. When I write it, I feel so, like, when I'm writing it, it's fun, but also when I watch it, it's, like, ten times more emotional. Um, But, yeah, like, just that dynamic where there's two strong people, and then when one of them turned, again, like James said, tender and sweet, the other one's like, oh, I know something's wrong when you get really, really sweet, and then they suddenly turn like, oh, fine, I'm gonna be mean to you again. In any situation, it makes my heart, like, melt. <sighs> <laughs> Romance. Oh. Earth, you doing up? What the hell is he doing? Your what? My what? Your what? Maybe fever didn't lose my wits. Not if you take my leg and not be in a state to stop it. If you're in that state, then I won't have a choice. Perhaps you won't. But I do. Enough made it. God damn it, Jamie! Too deep for the maggots to make any difference. And he had a way of getting penicillin into his bloodstream. But... Oh, Claire. I knew that needle would come in handy when they need it most, and now that idiot broke it. Now, what good? How would I be with only one leg? Did you ever say that to my father? That's a Fergus. Fergus. Oh, oh damn. damn. When he lost his hand. That's so freaking true. What difference does that make? I admired you so much. I ran away to Edinburgh to be with you. But you're right. Now I do see how courageous my father was and is. I never thought I'd see the day I'd be ashamed of you, Uncle. Ooh. God damn, son! Get it! <laughs> oh. What is it? Focus. It's nothing. Oh, you're a terrible liar. Oh, he's so handsome. I can't. He's talking about you as all. Mosley and I try not to think about what we lack, but about what we have. You and I have a father and an uncle. We should be there for him when he needs us. That's all we can do. Oh! God damn this episode! I was going to say, like, the beginning was a little bit eh, eh but ho! Oh, so much is being brought up. I just wanted to say, oh, Fergus, the actor who plays him, god damn! Boy! Stop! <laughs> In real life, he's so handsome as well, but just ho! Oh, the accent, I think it is. Ha ha ha. But anyway, um, god damn, what he said is so true. You know, you have to try and focus on, you know, what you have and what you don't have. Like, that's so, so true. In any situation given, like, ah, oh, I don't know. The writing in this episode is really- Jamie? Wait. No. No, please, no, please. I'm not in the mood to this happen. Uh. Jamie. Jamie? Oh. oh my god, Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> How? What? Oh, but thank god. Oh my god. No, it's Jamie getting amputated. Oh my god. Oh, Claire. Wait. Jesus H. Crucified Christ. What? What does that mean? You made a syringe. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> but not because you love me. 
<laughs> whether I'm dead or, or you, whether we're together or apart, I will always love you. It doesn't even need to say it anymore. Ah, uh, a very nice way to end the episode on a kiss. Ah, <sighs> god damn. Um. Wow, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in this episode, but in all honesty, it was very well done because usually when they try to put a lot of themes into an episode, sometimes it does turn messy. They've done, they've tried this before and sometimes it just doesn't work, but this was very well done and very well balanced because, you know, certain things came in at the right time, the pacing was lovely. I think the one thing that was very, very random was that, um, I think it's called elk, um, or, like, buffalo, um, or I think it's elk. Apologies, I don't really know those sort of animals. I think it's an elk, um, but, you know, that random elk coming into the, the thing, like, that was very, very random. Um, I don't think it was necessary in all honesty, but, you know, oh well, keep the tension high. Um, because <laughs> I did get scared, I was like, oh god, now Brianna's gonna end up getting into the into the healing ward. <laughs> but everything else, very well done. I loved it. The bonding, again, between Claire and Brianna was beautiful. And again, reminded me of me and my mum, like, whenever we hang out and do our own thing. <sighs> that really, really, like, made me smile. Because it just reminded me of all the conversations I have with my mum. I love how they made young Ian and Fergus come up in this episode because Fergus unfortunately isn't in these episodes as much as I'd like them because he's handsome but also I just love his character he's so funny and just very very charismatic so yeah I do miss seeing um Fergus like in the front and center so like you know seeing him properly like in a scene with just young Ian and stuff that was really nice I would have liked to see Fergus in a scene with Jamie um especially during that time of you know when Jamie was like oh like you know I want to die like I don't want to lose my leg and stuff like that like that would have been good but young Ian stepping up and saying that Jesus that had a lot of impact I loved that like just straight up he said you know there are so many people who are amputees and now it may be your time and now you're trying to run away from that fact. Oh, goddamn. Um, is this part in, like, the whole Jamie thing, is that in the books? I'm just interested and I'm intrigued and you guys can let me know or not. Um, but yeah, just that whole thing, the scene with Claire, I actually started to get scared. I was like, uh, bro, don't do this because I'm not ready, emotionally ready to say goodbye to Jamie. Oh, thank God Claire's touch helped a lot. <laughs> but, um, oh, God damn, that scene. But also that's, that skin-to-skin -skin contact was beautiful. I loved that. And it wasn't necessarily, like, just the sexual part, but just the fact that, you know, chest touching, just that, like, you know, it's so beautiful and, you know, touch is such a beautiful thing because, you know, like, when you're in love, whether it's someone, like, you know, a parent or a friend or, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever, or wife and husband, you know, touch is such a beautiful thing, you know, and especially when you have that connection with someone, it's beautiful. And when writers or, like, when movies or TV shows, like, you know, like, not direct, but even just the actors go ahead and, you know, they're, like, just touching, it's a beautiful thing, you know, because it's, like, you can feel that love between them because it's, like, it's so, um, how should I say it? It just shows, like, how much, like, you know, how secure they feel with one another. And, you know, instantly Claire didn't care, you know. She just did it. And she just pressed herself against Jamie. And just, it, that was so lovely. I loved that. Um, and, again, it wasn't just the sexual act. It was just, like, that, like, you know, she was doing anything to be, with, like, make sure that he woke up. So, you know, that loving touch and stuff, that was lovely. I really, really liked that scene. Even though there was, like, that, you know, she touched him. Other than that, I, I was a bit thrown off by that. I was like, oh, okay. But... I mean, it did wake him up, so why not? Oh, the next episodes are going to be crazy, especially because now they're kind of going on that path with Stephen Bonnet. Um, I wish we kind of saw more of him too, like either like doing his own thing and stuff, but I love how they like kind of like drip feed us with that stuff because, you know, we only saw him at the very beginning. I think it was, what episode was it? Episode, yeah, episode two. And then three, four... I think it was episode four. So, yeah, this episode nine. It's been a few episodes since we've seen him. So, oh, it's going to be... Ah! I hope we get to see him and I hope we get to see him die because I don't like him. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the newest episode of Outlander, episode nine of season five. Again, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this. At the beginning, I was like, oh, God, it's a bit dragging. But then, boom, like, just after that, that was 
great. And just after that, the action took off and it was great. And all the themes again were amazing, greatly, like just very interesting. Outlander always bring up such great, like, um, concepts and ideas for the audience to kind of like hash over. And even just talking about it is just incredible. So again, you know, remember, comment, let me know your thoughts. You know, I love conversing with you guys. So yeah, I can't wait to talk with you guys about this episode because again, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see what else happens. Oh, it's going to be so good. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and out. Woo!